I think we can all agree that one of the worst feelings ever is the feeling of not being able to get over somebody. That feeling of having somebody living in your head rent free 24 seven. Okay, a lot of you, when you read the title of this video, probably thought of somebody in particular. Okay, and that's okay because this video is designed for you. This video is for all the people who struggle to get past that one person. Whether it's an ex or somebody that you never dated, even somebody that you never met. It's very easy to get caught up in the fantasy that you might have created in your head for you and that person. And it's very hard to get past that. But by the time you get finished with this video, you will have given that person an eviction notice. And they will be gone. Okay, they will be out of your head. Not out of your head, but you'll be able to live your life. This video is going to give you the blueprint to finding yourself and finding your peace. So with that being said, the first thing that you need to do to get over somebody is you need to be patient. You need to be patient. You need to give yourself time. Okay. When something really truly hurts you, it's going to take some time to get over it. Okay. This is something that a lot of people don't seem to understand because they're impatient, especially with themselves. You need to be patient with yourself. You need to give yourself the time to hurt before you can give yourself the time to heal. Okay, you need to allow yourself to feel hurt, to feel down. But you also have to understand that there will come a point when you're starting to heal, but if you intentionally make yourself hurt by doing certain things, which I'll get into later on in the video, of course you're gonna reopen those wounds and you're gonna set yourself back in the healing process. So you need to give yourself time to feel the pain thoroughly, feel all of the negative emotions that you need to feel. And over time, you'll grow from those emotions and you'll become more in tune with yourself as a result of that. I say this a lot, but you need to treat yourself the same way that you would treat your best friend. If your best friend is going through a breakup, you're not just gonna tell them it's been too long. You know, why are you still thinking about them? If you do that, you're a terrible friend, okay? You're a horrible friend. You should never do that. You should be there for your friend and you should be there for yourself in that same way. You know, you should listen to yourself and be there emotionally for yourself. Don't ever think that you're in the wrong for having feelings. And that especially applies to all my men out there. And I have made videos on that in the past, but you need to allow yourself to feel and you need to be patient. It might take you weeks, months, or even years, but however long it takes you, allow yourself to take all of that time and utilize the time to the best of your ability. Now, just because you get them out of your mind, that does not mean that you're going to forget about them. If you feel the need to watch this video, you're never gonna forget about that person. And that's okay, because when somebody makes an impact in your life, it can be a catalyst for growth. Okay, whether it's a positive or negative impact, it can be a catalyst for your own personal growth. But you have to understand that that person, once they make that type of impact in your life, you're never gonna forget about them but you should find it within yourself to forgive them. Now, just like I was saying earlier, you need to be patient with yourself on this. You need to learn to forgive them and yourself, okay? Because truth be told, more than likely you and them both share the responsibility of the way things ended. So you need to learn to forgive both parties, okay? Forgiveness is the key. You need to learn to forgive because if you don't forgive, if you don't offer this forgiveness to yourself and to them, you will never find closure, even if they try to give it to you, even if the universe tries to give it to you. You have to find it within to forgive. Forgiveness is so important when it comes to getting over somebody. Now, I know there might be people in the comments talking about how they got cheated on, they were abused mentally, physically, and things like that. And yes, that is horrible. And I know it's gonna be hard to forgive them for doing that, but you're not forgiving them for them. You're doing it for you because if you don't forgive them, what's gonna happen is you're gonna project them onto everyone else that you try to interact with. I've seen this happen and I've been on the short end of that stick. I've had to deal with the trauma and baggage that women carried around as a result of previous situations, men that I've never even met and situations that I had nothing to do with. And as a result, I had to go through this process too. You know, and it would have been very easy for me to project these feelings onto somebody else, which I will get into that later on in the video, but I chose not to do that. I chose not to do that because I identified that pattern and I wanted to be the one to break it. So 
You need to learn to forgive. Okay, you need to learn to truly forgive before you try to put yourself back out there. The next thing that you need to do, and this might be the second most important thing on the list, maybe even the most important thing on the list, depending on how old you are and how often you use this thing, but you need to stop stalking them on social media, okay? A lot of people are guilty of this. I know a lot of you are guilty of this, okay? I know a lot of you keep tabs on that one person, whether it's through Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, however else you keep tabs on them. You're gonna find every excuse in the book to keep doing this, and that's exactly why you should stop. Because what you have to understand is that if you do this, you will never get past them, ever, okay? It could be 20 years, but if you keep up with them for those 20 years, you're never gonna get past that person. If you're stalking their social media, not only are they living rent-free in your head, but they actually own real estate, they own property. And on top of that, they're renting that property out to other tenants, okay? They are turning a profit at your expense. And on top of that, it's not gonna do you any good. What's the point of keeping up with that person? They are no longer in your life. And I know it hurts to hear that, but that's the cold hard truth. They are not in your life at this moment right now, and that's okay. So don't try to simulate the feeling of them being in your life by keeping up with them on social media. Now, like I said, I know that's very hard because it's very accessible. You can do this at any time and nobody will know, not even them, you know, unless you say something to them. But you can't be doing that. You can't do that. It's bad for you. It's really bad for you. Because like I said, at this point, they own real estate and they are renting it out to other tenants. And guess who the tenants are? The tenants are all the people that you try to date in the future. Okay, now, every time you meet up with somebody else, you're going to be comparing that new person to them, to that old person, because you don't have the strength to let that person go from social media. Okay, if you need to block them, do that. If you need to tell them to block you, do that. But ultimately, it's going to come down to you and your discipline. You have to be disciplined enough, and you have to have enough self-respect to not subject yourself to that, because... You're never going to come away feeling good from doing that. In fact, when that person eventually moves on from you and you see them with a new person, now you're going to get your feelings hurt all over again. Now you're back to square one. Now you have to watch this video again. The next reason why you cannot get over somebody is because you keep finding rebounds. Okay, now this is way easier these days because of dating apps and social media. It's much easier to find a rebound. Like I said, I've been on the short end of that stick before. Okay, I have definitely been a rebound multiple times in the past. Even if they wouldn't necessarily label me as a rebound, I was a rebound and I've come to accept that. And I'm glad that I have that experience because now I can tell you that finding a rebound is not gonna help you one bit. Okay, getting with me, that didn't help any of these girls get past what they went through. You know, if anything, it probably made it worse. And the reason why is because when you get a rebound, now you're trying to get over that person and the rebound, especially if your rebound was someone like me. And that's not to gas myself up, but I know that I am definitely a good dude. Like, I am the full package. So I know that there are girls that probably had trouble getting over me. And the reason why I know that is because they were keeping tabs on me after we stop talking. So you have to understand that when you find a rebound, you're only making things worse. It's kind of like if you break your left arm and then you go and break your right arm so that your left arm doesn't hurt as much. It's still gonna hurt the same, except now you have two broken arms. So stop trying to find a rebound, okay? Do not get on Tinder. Please, if you are fresh out of a relationship, do not get on Tinder. Do not get on these dating apps. Don't look for hookups, don't look for casual dating. Don't look for relationships. Don't look for anything, okay? You need to be looking for your own inner peace. And somebody else on Tinder is not going to be able to deliver that to you, even if they have the best intentions for you. The next reason why you are struggling to get past that one person is because you're waiting to live your best life. You're waiting to start going out to the places that you wanna go to. Okay, I say this all the time, especially on TikTok, but take yourself on dates. Take yourself out on dates. If you want to go to the movies, don't let the fact that you don't have that person anymore stop you from doing that. 
If you want to go out to eat, don't let the fact that you don't have that person stop you from doing that. Go do the things that you want to do. Travel. Live your life. Okay, time is a limited resource. Once it's gone, it is gone. You cannot get your time back. You cannot get your youth back. So you need to enjoy your time and your youth as much as possible, whether you have that person or not. You need to learn to embrace life by yourself and trust that the right people will emerge on your path when the time is right. What you have to understand is that before you met that person, you didn't know that they existed. Okay, you didn't know that that type of love, that type of connection was out there for you. So who's to say that there's not something better? Okay, who's to say that there's not something better out there for you? Or maybe they are the one, who knows? But you have no way of knowing unless you trust the universe. And truth be told, that's really all you can do.